comfortable. Yeah. Don't knock that. Oh, do you have your Jack Skellington socks on too? I do. Did you not see mine before you? I did. Oh. That's why I put mine you, on. That's why you put yours on. I thought we were vibing, but apparently. I planned it. Mm. Yeah. That's less cute. You should have lied to me. I didn't know that was less cute. I thought that was cuter. <laughs> well, now you know. I think we're about as good as we're going to get cool. on that. So we are, we are live here. Maybe you should drink with your left hand. So that's hard to do. How do you? How does one drink with their left hand? Pinky out. <sighs> there you have it. Drinking with my left hand. I literally was like pinky out, and then I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm drinking. Welcome. This is Above, Below, and Beyond, where we explore the supernatural of the American South. I'm Ryan. And I'm Kate. And this is episode two. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you're joining us on a podcast, thank you for listening. If you're joining us on YouTube or some other viewing platform, glad to have you. I uh, hope, hope we uh, are meeting your standards of the aesthetic I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. Of the, just of the, like, proper noun of the aesthetic. Do we look good? <laughs> oh, please don't answer that. <laughs> please don't answer that. Are we coming You're through? Already. So, can I just, like, before we get started, um, like, in, what was it, our Coraline episode mm -hmm. on a couple of books, you said something about, like, DMing, like, send us a DM. Oh. Well, that's happened for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're getting DMs. Um, you have uh, a local model agency interested in you now, uh, which is like well, adorable. On, it, I think um, you're also popular with boys. I, I already, I'm aware. <laughs> I've had know. a TikTok for a while, so I've, yeah. already, I've already come to this conclusion. You are apparently a thirst trap for gay men specifically. So yep. congratulations. That's probably yeah. like the highest compliment. Pro I think so. Get. I think so. I, I think mean, it's I quite always the... feel better when like my gay friends tell me that I'm like looking mm -hmm. great because I believe it. Yes. Because they'll also tell me when I'm like looking. They're also they also are very, terrible. They also say very flattering things. They do. They're very they're very, very flattering. kind about it. Our so, cat is in here. Should we like kick him out or? Nah, he's oh, fine. Okay. He, he, well, he's fine for right. <laughs> he'll join us occasionally. He's a cat, so uh, he'll, he'll fit the mood. It's it, it is this uh, supernatural podcast. He's the, he's the, he's a black cat too. Well, he's a tuxedo, but he's. Oh, and uh, maximum if, black. He's very. I cheap. forgot to mention if you were watching uh, on YouTube, uh, what do you think of our beautiful uh, outside? The sunny, sunny, beautiful day. Mm, I think it should be spooky. It should be spooky. It should be spooky. It should um, be like giving the like, proper vibes. Haunted. So the sunny day is not working. Sunny day is not working. Right. That's not. That's not the aesthetic. Let's uh, let's uh, try this. I hope that worked. If it I worked, really was leave a comment. Wanting like a magical like, <laughs> like um, considering my uh, video editing skills are novice, it is going to be just a simple, right? Well, one can dream. Maybe, one can dream. Maybe that will be a goal that you can. Work one towards. day, one day, but <laughs> that not will be now. a goal that you can work towards is to, for like me to be able to live my best like fairy godmother dreams mm -hmm. that I haven't had until just now. Okay, perfect. That's, that's a new dream. Perfect. So before we get started, have uh, you had anything spooky happen this week? Not spooky, but like kind of ironic. It's like a 3 a.m. So I'm a huge fan of T-Swift. Oh, yes. Don't roll your eyes. She's our once and future queen. Mm -hmm. um, and Midnight's came out this week. Right. And as I'm sure like, you know, you've picked up on. And I legitimately considered taking like a personal day on friday to yeah. just like sit in our house with like all the lights off and like stream the album um and i also thought about pulling an all-nighter but i'm like to the point in my life now where i'm not my best self if i've pulled an all-nighter i like pulled like too many in college i used up my all-nighters mm -hmm. um like for my whole life when i was at iu um so i don't do that anymore but magically Bruce, our cat, woke me up at 3 a.m. Yeah. on the dot, which, like, witching hour. 
And I was like, you know what? And I'm the type of person that like when I wake up, I can go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, how annoying. And then I was like, oh. But like, you know, the meme where the girl's like, Ur! and then she's like, oh, that was me like lying in bed. And I was like, well, while I'm trying to fall back to sleep, mm -hmm. I could be listening to at least a few songs from this album. And that's what I did. So again, the only like spooky thing about it is that Bruce like had butted me directly in the eyeball, like at 3 a.m. on the dot. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, oh, but I'm like, I'm easily, I think, spooked by 3 a.m. Like. Like, if I wake up in the middle of the night to, like, go to the bathroom and it's, like, 3, mm -hmm. I, like, take, because I don't want to wake you up. Mm -hmm. So, I go, like, into our guest bathroom, which is, like, all the way across the our house. Yeah, I do the same thing. And I carry Bruce in front of me to, to ward off demons. Yes. Yeah, that... He, I'm like, oh, it's it. 3 it, He'll do it, too. He's, he's got, got a really good fight face. Yes, he does. He's got, like, and his paws are really mm -hmm. big for, like, a mm -hmm. domestic yeah. cat. And he reminds me of, like, those, like palace cats or whatever they're called mm -hmm. but like anyway. yeah he doesn't have anything to back it up no yet. and he just like is like ready just... to he he understands the assignment yeah he's always got a frown because that's just like how his face looks mm -hmm. so yeah he's like my little demon shield and i'm like okay but it's 3 a.m or like you know what freaks me out more than 3 a.m when i wake up at 3 33 that mm -hmm. doesn't feel good yeah that's the that feels that's like the something hour that the... they would make like a paranormal yeah. activity 24 that or whatever is, they're that on is now. known as the hour of the devil 333 really yeah how did i not know that yeah that's the hour I thought, well there you go people <laughs> I thought that is that is known 3 as 3 a.m but yes. 3 30 oh so i'm right so a, i'm right six, to six, be six. freaked out by yes it. i bet i did know that it was like in there somewhere yeah um, it's the hour of the devil so there you have it so uh where, where are you taking us today well uh not very far so today we are doing something different than um like the other two episodes that we've recorded thus far mm -hmm. have been like haunted locations um we're veering into something else supernatural uh cryptids and we're talking about our like state cryptid which is known as the florida skunk ape do you mm. just before we get into it like do you know anything about the skunk ape yeah all i think I think it's kind of like the Florida Bigfoot. It's ex it's the Florida Bigfoot. So okay. it's a cryptid. Um, For some people who don't know what a cryptid is. Oh, that's. What, not what the is a cryptid? For you. That's <laughs> leave. <laughs> no education for you. <laughs> no, no, this is not an educational podcast. So um, go to Wikipedia, educate yourself and then come back. Cryptids are animals that cryptozoologists believe may exist somewhere in the wild, but are not to be not believed to exist by mainstream science. So it's okay. crypto cryptozoology um, is a pseudoscience. So it looks at like basically like anecdotes and like folklore and things like okay. that. Okay. Um, so and like another everyone you have a local cryptid. Uh, Bigfoot's like the. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the most popular. I was going to say, like, that's the big one, but yeah, it's the most popular. It's the most, um, I think, kind of, like, widely known. Um, I would argue that even, like, unicorns kind of, like, fall into, like, I know they're a mythological creature, but I feel like, I don't know. If you've ever been hiking in Scotland, I think mm -hmm. unicorns become cryptids. You're like, well, they're probably here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably here. Um, and I have a theory about unicorns that they do exist, but they immediately kill you like on the spot. So no okay. one can ever, no one can ever, they're like, oh, well, yes, unicorns are real. Ah, and then like, they stab you because like, what makes more sense? Like, and I think this is a meme, but like a rhinoceros uh -huh. or a unicorn, like, mm -hmm. I think Hank Green has a lot to say on this, but let's oh, continue. Does he? Okay. Yes. Well, Okay. So hey, Green, if you're watching. So, the skunk ape. And before we, like, go any further, I'm going to call this the swamp ape. That's not what it... That's mm. not what it is, that it's yeah. called the skunk ape. But right. But I... Because I, I did a very fancy interview last night. Oh. And it's... You feel free to, like, read heavily into my sarcasm. You, um, you did an interview. I'll, I'll tell you. You... Yeah. I did an interview ab okay. about this topic. Okay. Because right. I have someone... Okay. Very close is there to someone me. an ex? Is there an expert that you know? I have someone who uh, had an, an, an encounter and has since, since become an expert. 
Oh, my, do I know this person? Sister. Oh, it's your <laughs> it's sister. sister. Okay, okay, I know. I do know. But this story. I conducted a legitimate and like okay, I was like, I'm going to to interview you for science, and she's like, Let's do she's it. She's like, I, Let me get my binder. Like, let me get my notes. Mm-hmm. Her binder's in her head. Like, yeah. But she was like, Oh, yes. Well, I will tell you everything I know. Mm-hmm. Um. So, so again, the but when I when I was interviewing her last night, I kept calling it the swamp ape. Oh. And. It's not the swamp ape. It's skunk ape. Right. More on that later. So yeah, it's it's Florida's version of a Bigfoot. And most states have a version of a Bigfoot. Sometimes even like regions within states mm-hmm. have a specific type of Bigfoot. Right. Um, my personal my personal favorite like variation on the Bigfoot meme is meme. My personal very wow. My personal favorite variation on the Bigfoot theme is how to say that sentence. Um, is called the Alabama White Fang. 